for years, my stepmom swore that we are not getting a dog. We already had three cats, and that was plenty. Except the word never apparently didn't really make sense to my dad, which is why, after years of hounding her, we finally got a dog, specifically a Newfoundland hound from a nice couple that lived a couple hours outside of the city. We went to pick him up, and we didn't know what to expect. My entire family piled in the car, my stepmom and my dad, my brother, my other brother, my stepbrother, and we all got into the car. Five people, or sorry, six people, in a car built for five. A little cramped, but we don't. When we picked Figaro up, we kind of forgot the entire part where he was only a year old. So he was only 120 pounds. Only. It was a very, very uncomfortable ride back. Mostly because we all had a 120 pound load bearing us down so we couldn't move. There was already too many of us. And someone had made the mistake of giving my stepbrother Danny chocolate. At this time, he was still very, very much in his munchkin face. I say munchkin because I can't think of a nicer way to describe batshit crazy. And now that I've said it, I might as well just say it. He was batshit crazy at the time, in the most hilarious way possible that made you think someone had dropped him on his head as a baby. Specifically onto concrete, and by dropped, I mean punted. He was fun. <laughs> but yeah, we were all pretty uh, ready to leave by the time we got home. And Figaro was too at the time. I didn't realize that because I thought he was actually kind of tired. Apparently, stepping out of the car on his own without being prompted for him was hyper. Who'd have thought? It was the first day and we wanted to get to know him because, you know, new addition to the family. And considering his 120 pounds at the time, he weighed more than some of the members of the family already. The cats skedaddled immediately. Mostly because two of them were complete cowards, and the third one just didn't care. So we ended up going to the basement where we had a couch and a pool table, and just, you know, relaxed. We were going to, like, maybe watch TV and pet the dog, stroke the dog, you know, get to know him. Because, you know, it's whatever you do when you bring a new dog home. You don't just bring him home and ignore him. That would be weird. But my dad's always liked dogs, and so this wasn't an odd idea for us at the time. Figaro, though, decided he wanted to play, specifically with Danny, who also wanted to play. So they got into a tug-of-war match, and they, my dad had this uh, little rope that you can tug on both ends. Except, you know, Figaro kept jumping up and trying to get a better hold on to it, and Danny kept doing the same thing because he thought it was funny. Well, eventually at the point where they stopped using the rope, and Figaro snagged his uh, shirt by accident. Danny was hyper, zany, and a bit of a comedian in the very um, physical humor sense. Again, batshit crazy, but I'm trying to find other ways to say that. Batshit crazy still works the best. So he ended up just flailing on the ground, going, yeah, rah, rah, making these absurd noises, and just flailing and uh, whining and, you know, completely just being a goof. Figaro took it as him playing still. So he started dragging him by the collar, and he kept jumping up a little. And eventually, he got the hood of Danny's, uh, well, hoodie, and started dragging him around the couch. And we didn't know what to go on, because the only dogs any of us had seen, and the only animals we had been with, were either cats, tiny, well, actually quite fat, but cats, or these little bite-sized purse dogs that their idea of dragging something around would be maybe a straw if they're feeling strong. Figaro is dragging Danny around the couch in circles, and Danny's just freaking out the entire time, and we just decide to sit on the couch and laugh. Because, for some reason, this struck us as the funniest thing ever. And it wasn't a short thing either. Danny was just egging him on the entire way, just screaming and yelling, and, okay, at one point he was like, I hate you all! Of course, the one time he gets away, he immediately holds his hood out for the dog again and starts dragging himself around, so the dog would start dragging him around. We don't really believe him when he says he wants to stop when he makes sure the dog continues. Well, eventually, Danny got tired, but the dog was still dragging him around, so Danny just ended up curling around, and he was just getting bumped on the side of the couch. This went around, and literally around, 
for close to half an hour, or maybe 20 minutes. It was hard to tell, mostly because we were laughing too hard to be aware of time. By the end of it, Danny needed a new hoodie, and Figaro was actually pretty tired and pretty much collapsed on top of Danny, who couldn't move because a 120-pound dog just decided to lay on him. You don't really move when that happens. And that's how we got Figaro.